Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It is time for me to do a review on the e.l.f. Um, skincare line that recently launched. I found out about this back in January. Before I was going to go on my no buy, I saw that you could pre-order skincare and I thought, wow, I really like e.l.f. I know that my Avon stuff is going to be gone soon and that I don't have any more of it. I'm definitely on the hunt for some new skincare. So I placed a pre-order for the Daily Hydration Moisturizer, the Nourishing Night Cream, and the Illuminating Eye Cream. They had a number of other things to pre-order. They had a face wash, a toner, um, a serum, a couple of other things, but I wasn't interested in anything else. And based on the popularity of the pre-order, they decided to release only a select number of items. And they were um, these three that I just showed you, plus they were also releasing, I believe it was the toner, but I didn't purchase that. These retailed, again, I believe, and I'll have it actually listed out in the down bar, $10 a piece, which that's a little pricey for the e.l.f. website, but for skincare, it's pretty inexpensive. So I was pumped about it, and when the packaging came, again, this is nice, durable packaging. You've got this hard, frosted over um, what feels like a really durable, either plastic or it could be a glass, I can't 100% tell. You have a really beautiful lid on here and you have tons of product. There isn't really a scent for the night cream and then the same type of packaging for your eye cream. You have 0.49 um, ounces in here. There again is that small little lid on here and you have quite a bit of product. Sorry, the light's a little intense. You have quite a bit of product wedged in there. Again, no real scent. Um, and then finally, with the day cream, you've got 2.53 ounces. It's in a different type of packaging. It's got this pump with a tube that feeds in here. Uh, I don't love this. I personally would have preferred it to be in a pot just to help easier for storage. And I noticed that when I would squeeze it, I had to kind of work to make sure the product was down there to get it actually squeezed out, which seemed a little strange because this is relatively full. And then uh, I didn't mention this, but the night cream has 1.76 ounces in it. I have to say that the day cream, when you first put it on, you have to give it a little moment to sink in. It does tend to feel a little sticky at first until your you know face can actually absorb it. So I had to wait a little longer than I was used to, probably around 45 to 60 seconds before I could then start putting on primer and other things. The uh, under eye cream is definitely a nice thick under eye cream. I would just work that in underneath my eyes and I would bring it from the center all the way to about my temple. Really nice, you know, not too thick, not too thin. I did enjoy this. And then your nourishing night cream is also on the thicker side, which I think is appropriate for a night cream because your face is able to do more things at night while you're resting. And there are tons of overnight masks and overnight serums that you can use that are really supposed to help your face while you are resting. So while I enjoy all of these products when I first started um, I unfortunately had a really negative reaction to this skincare line I have been completely acne free not even like menstrual acne or, or hormonal acne whatever you want to call it in I would say probably three months I haven't had any acne and I thought I was getting to a place where my skin was finally evened out, things were looking good, and I had acne that I've never had before. Um, it started down around this area where I typically have gotten acne in the past, but they weren't my normal pimples. They were almost like welts that were underneath my skin. They hurt. My face was sore and they were very, very red and it took them a little while to rise to the full surface of my skin and there was pus. I've never had acne like that. Um, underneath my bangs, I still am trying to work on getting rid of it. I again had those same types of welts that were popping up. Um, it's not uncommon for me to get acne when I was getting acne, you know, around my mouth, chin area, um, you know, right in between my eyebrows and then a little bit on my forehead, things where I would either collect oil or, um, you know, sweat, things like that. So that's my common areas. Additionally, I had um, acne popping up right around um, my cheekbones, which I've never had acne there before. Um, and it had to be from the under eye cream. The only things I had changed in my face routine were these three products. Um, and at first I thought, 
it's an adjustment period. I'm going to give it the full week, you know, maybe a week and a half. Uh, but the acne was so painful and it wasn't getting better. None of my acne washes could help you know, cease the acne. None of my pimple creams could, you know, suppress any of the acne. So finally, I happened to just have uh, in my closet um, the number seven day and night cream. And I had a sample of eye cream. And I thought, well, let me just pull it out and I'll try it. And if that clears the acne up, then I know for certain that it's these three e.l.f. products. And sure enough, while the acne is not completely gone, and I really wish I had taken a picture of it because it really was intense. I mean, it was one and like embarrassing. I've never had acne like that before where I felt embarrassed by how prominent it was and also how painful. I've never had like, yes, pimples can be kind of painful, but I mean, these were like, you could feel my pulse in them. Like they just, it was really painful. I've never had it. And again, I'm fortunate that it wasn't all over my face, but the, you know, maybe, 10 to 12 pimples I had were causing like a throbbing in my face. It was very bizarre. So I had test those problems to this stuff. I tried looking up the ingredients um, and comparing it to the ingredients in the Avon. So if I could pinpoint like some key things that maybe I have a negative reaction to, I'm not 100% sure. I've watched tons of reviews. I actually went on YouTube and searched for this line and no one has had a reaction from what they've said in those videos the way I have. Um, but for me, I'm going to go ahead and completely stop using these. I don't feel comfortable passing them on to a friend because of the reaction I had and I would hate to have someone else have the reaction. I don't 100% know if it was just my particular batch that I got or if it's just the product itself. But unfortunately, I would not recommend this product. I think that there perhaps could be some lower quality uh, ingredients in here to help you know, make them more cost effective. And my face just could not handle it. And I do not have a sensitive face. I don't usually have bad reactions to things. Um, so this, I think, really speaks a lot to the quality of the product. Um, again, maybe it works for you, and I hope that it does because it is so cost effective. But for me, I just think that this is not a quality product, and my face was such, you know, had such a negative reaction to it that I just can't even tell you guys to try it because I don't want this to happen to you because um, it was really bad. It really wasn't something that I ever want to experience again. Um, and I'm bummed because I'm still trying to clear the acne out and I'm, you know, I don't want my acne to come back. I've, I, like I said, I was three months acne free, which doesn't seem like a long time, but it was really nice to not have to worry about, you know, having pimples and I'm going to cover up the pimples and all of that jazz. Um, but let me know your thoughts on this. If you've tried the line, I'd love to hear your experience with it because again, most people have had positive things to say. I just found that in my experience, it was not positive. And now I'm rambling. So that's it for me, guys. I'm checking out and I will see you in my next video. Bye.